and gentlemen, live from the Bellcourt Theater in Nashville, Tennessee, it's Riff Tracks Live, Manos, the Hands of Fate. Now, please welcome Kevin Murphy, Mike Nelson, and Bill Corbett. General hellos to audience, ad-libbed. Oh, I'm going, no, 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 it's just no, a note. Little too literally a, by God, the script, just I'm sorry. A note. Wow. <laughs> How are you, Nashville? <laughs> wow, that's, that's a lot a, of energy. It's a little too good. Huh? And how are you, America? <laughs> Excellent. Good. America, get your game up. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, folks, as you probably know, we are here to riff Manos, The Hands of Fate. One of the worst movies ever made that is not a Transformers movie. Yes. Yeah. And this is live being beamed to literally seven billion people across the planet right now. And I, and I might do anything. I might whip out my, my scathing manifesto about that fake Mars landing last oh boy. week. Yeah. You know, assuming Buzz Aldrin is not in the house, too. No, you no, know. no, 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 no. Bill does that a lot, yeah. I um, do. Before we get to the main feature, we have a couple of tasty shorts to uh, set mm. up for you. We like Yum. to do... <laughs> shorts! You know, <laughs> Wet the appetites. The educational, the business shorts, those quirky little things. We like to let people know that they once existed, you know? Yeah. That's right. That's right. And um, the first one we have is going to be welcoming back a dear old friend of ours. I'm talking, of course, about Norman. God, you guys. Norman. Sweet, Norman. wonderful Norman. Yeah. Norman. Wow, man. It'll be great to see him yeah. again. Yeah, yeah, Norman. Yeah. Um, I, I really don't know who Norman is, you no, guys. I'm I, sorry. I, 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 I'm trying to fake it here. And... Yeah, I, I kind of thought Norman was a friend of yours, and I was oh. just going along oh, with it. Oh, friend of mine. No, no, Me no, too. No, okay. no, I was no reading Norman this, and it says, Welcome back, Norman. Oh, yeah, so I figured I should go with the flow and welcome your friend, Bill. Well, we're kind of stuck welcoming him back now, okay. whoever he is. So, uh... Okay, roll. Welcome back, Norman. Whoever he is. Norman. Yes, the look of a man who recently cried in an airplane bathroom. <laughs> there he is, Norman, you old SOB. Hey, welcome back. How are you, Norman? When was the last time? Milwaukee yeah, 98. I still don't know who he is. Bill, who the hell is he? <laughs> ah, the baggage claim. What better place not to help struggling old women? Norman's the kind of guy who just screams used Naugahyde salesman. The contents of those two briefcases would shock even the most jaded sex trade worker. <laughs> Welcome back, Norman. Spend a little time working on business. I'm so glad that you've returned since we all know who you are. Hotels and restaurants. Airports and parking lots, gee, but it's good to be home. And of course, everyone knows where Jackson Norman lives. Jackson waits in time, appointments never start on time, gee, but it's good to be home. When the singer performs his song live, this is the part where all the women throw their underwear at him. The Norman! Cow, he forgot where he parked. That is so Norman! It's totally Norman. I assume. <laughs> And Norman is the platonic ideal of a deaf comedy jam impression of a white guy. Taxi cabs and waiting in line. Of Drinking alone some cheap red wine. Time. Norman's living on borrowed time. His liver is nearly time. turned to brine. He, he never sees his wrong. kids. They call it someone else dad. That, that got a little dark. But it's good to be Welcome back, Norman. Welcome Back Norman is filmed in front of an indifferent studio audience. Uh. Oh. Oh. Yes, Norman's beloved catchphrase. Oh. Oh. Sure, the blue car owner will appreciate a complimentary Norman ass buffing. <laughs> 
You know, Norman seems like the kind of guy who would wish Selena Gomez a happy birthday on Twitter. <laughs> 1500 dollars worth of damage on a complete stranger's car. That is so Norman, you guys. <laughs> Welcome back, buddy. Norman puts the lovable loser in the phrase completely unlovable loser. <laughs> Yeah, he can't put that in the trunk because the trunk's full of ladies' wigs and teen Cosmo magazines. Ah, <laughs> uh, just, just welcome back, Norman. What else is there to say? Uh, there's the catchphrase, man. That's why I love Norman. Okay, folks watching across America, close your eyes and this short takes on a whole different tone. Oh. Okay, that's enough. Right. I can't. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> I'm just too ghastly. <laughs> Norman, please. So this is an educational short meant to, I guess, teach kids not to leave their briefcases on top of their Chryslers. Right, I guess. Your dad is a Norman became the most popular playground taunt after this film was shown. Oh, he's scuffing his genuine dog leather shoes. Ah, uh, folks, just a friendly reminder that at some point in time during the course of any normal day, old Norman here is naked. Oh, oh. Still just, You know, keep that up there. Let's check how my pet rock is doing, this being the 70s and all. George Steinbrenner vowed that day to never be decent to another human being. <laughs> well, Norman doesn't have anything else on his schedule today besides licking the backdrops of the J.C. Penney photo studio, so... It's Norman. <laughs> it's, it's lovable. To make things worse, he keeps his cat in there. Oh. Yeah. Twenty years in traveling sales, he still has no idea how parking lots work. <laughs> if Sam Donaldson wig there is really working for him. What's what's the plan, Norman? Okay, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> what? The <laughs> ah, so that was the dark oblong thing I saw on my roof. Catchphrase! Yeah! Yeah! Oh. <sighs> In the case, second quarter sales figures, a well-thumbed issue of Penthouse, and oddly enough, several ICBM launch codes. Ah, Chanel. Now all his important papers are going to smell like the nape of Kira Knightley's neck. Damn it, I was planning to drink that on the way home. <laughs> Suddenly, three dozen Jersey girls are rubbing themselves on the pavement. Ah, <laughs> oh, poor guy. Now he's going to have to find another gift for his blow up doll. Norman's surname is Magoo. Hey, get out of the way. Watch where you're going. Hey, keep your eyes open, eh, buddy? Norman almost ran over Canada. Hey. If I could sit a bit closer, I could chew on the steering wheel. Good goal, Norman. And his car gets hit by a cannonball from the Mythbusters set. Time to relax with a healthy low tower cigarette. They're actually good for you. Norman's the kind of guy who gives pennies wrapped in tin foil for Halloween. <laughs> His, this groin padding has nothing to do with the match.
We love watching men rub their pants. Tee hee. Yeah, within days, Norman will have them putting lotion in a basket. <laughs> it's Norman. What's wrong, Phil? I can't oh, find I my suit polish. Hurry up and die, will you? Did you look in here? No, I didn't look in here yet. No, no. Hey! Ken Burns! My baseball series didn't take this long. Can I give it to you? Ken Burns. I have luck everywhere. Very helpful, Norman. What are you, Italian all of a sudden? There, the dog has it. Wow. Great, we don't have a dog. This isn't even our car. Who are we? Thank you. Yep. You see, folks, the world is one giant Calvin peeing on Norman sticker. A terrible moment when Norman finally realizes he's alone with Norman. <laughs> oh. Singer makes Jason Mraz sound like Danzig. <laughs> Norman's in a hell realm of despair. Norman will be back, and for the love of God, Norman, come down from that ledge. Our friend Norman, everybody. Norman. Thank ah. you. Norman. Ah, Norman. He certainly did come back. He did. Yes. You gotta give him that. Uh, hey, hey, America, can we all do the Norman catchphrase together at once? Mike, will you, will you demonstrate for us, please? Yeah, I do a pretty good Norman. Uh, uh. There you go. Okay, Norman catchphrase, everybody, on three. One, two, three. Uh. Oh, not bad, not bad, but maybe just a little more existential dread in your just voice. Just a scotch, yeah, just like a scotch. One, two, three. Oh, oh good, good. There Great. See, go. I, I want to hang myself now. Thank you. Well done. You're all just a bunch of Normans. <laughs> Norman. Well, Norman has been officially welcomed back, so Thank now God. it's time for a word from our sponsor for the night. Wait, we have a sponsor? Yeah, we, we really should talk over some of this stuff before we come on stage. Uh, yeah, we probably should. Anyway, uh, <laughs> prunes. What? What? <laughs> yes, prunes. Just thinking about them makes me hungry. Really? Uh, nobody has ever been hungry for prunes. No, ever. no. Some, some people have other reactions, like when I hear the word prunes, it's just like, you know, G.I. It's not yeah, uh, good. Well, I don't want to see anything so about prunes, Mike. Prunes is it. Please roll our uh, sponsor's commercial, Prunes. Prunes. Oh. Remember the last time you had a bowl of prunes? And how after the prunes were all gone, you drank that sweet, good-tasting juice? No. Well, that's what this is. Only better. You know how you have to use up the whole coffee bean to release all that good coffee taste? What? Well, we use up practically the whole prune to make prune juice. Prunes. And just like coffee, we let prunes brew a while. Yeah. So the juice is rich, full of flavor. Don't do it. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Oh. yeah. <laughs> mm. A lot of flavor in that glass. <laughs> a lot of quick energy, too. And look. No, don't. Oh. Don't, don't. Oh, yeah. for the love of God. See? This guy's my hero. It's just that long for you to pour yourself into <laughs> He good snapped day. his tether, man. Prune juice. He's going for a double, really too. Brewed from the prunes of California. California? To your help. Oh, no. Tell me he's... Well, Mike, you sold us out to Big Prune, man. Uh, well, prunes, huh? Prunes, won't you? Specifically, California prunes. Yeah, yeah, and if there was ever a guy who represented sunny, healthful California, it was that weathered-looking Orville Redenbacher wannabe we just saw. Just, California. You could see him surfing. I bet when you went out tonight, you did not think to yourself you would see a guy drink two glasses of prune juice. No, you, you thought, I'll see maybe one yeah, glass. Yeah, one tops. tops. But you know, hopefully we brought a little novelty to your life. Maybe if, we should get on with our next... If we can do nothing else. Yes. 
Get on with our next offering. Uh, this is a follow-up to a very popular short from one of our previous shows. We did one in uh, 2010, Reefer Madness, and there was a short attached to that. It was At Your Fingertips, Grasses. And before you ask, yes, corn is a type of grass for those of you who have been in suspense for the last two years. Yes. Okay? Be, Got be, it? Be comforted. Well, it turns out that there are more things that happen to be at your fingertips, and one of them is cylinders. Yeah. So there's a couple things that, you know, if you look down to the end right of your hands, right you right should now. have some grass and some cylinders, because they are at <laughs> your Available fingertips. to you at any moment. At your very fingertips! It's true! So please roll. <laughs> at your fingertips, cylinders. Tonight, on a very special episode of At Your Fingertips. Mom, we're gonna go play at the abandoned construction site again. Okay, kids, try not to get bitten by as many rats this time. It's a great educational film. I've, I've learned a lot so far. <laughs> I don't get it. When Mario steps on pipes, he warps to Mushroom World. <laughs> wow, Woodchuck got wedged in there. Died about three weeks ago. Cool! Wow! Uh, uh, giant! Uh, just a, oh, it's a different I scene, Mike. Change locations, yeah. I see. Yeah. I'm not sure how this robot is gonna work, but eventually it needs to be able to fight bears. <laughs> Round tubes like these are called cylinders. If that comes as news to you, it means you properly lack a brain stem. <laughs> Cardboard cylinders come in many sizes, and there are many things that you can make from them. Bobby's making his grandpa a fully functional artificial heart. <laughs> Thanks, kid. Put them together with metal fasteners to make jointed toys. Yeah, I think the guys who made this film knew a lot about joints in general. <laughs> and here we see how to make a cylinder into a slightly different colored cylinder. Yeah, when I think cylinders, I, I think harpsichord music. Sure. Okay, should a kid who had to be told what a cylinder is even be given scissors? <laughs> no, no, he's not making a craft. He's just covering the label because he thinks the Quaker Oats man is reading his thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> hey, nobody tell him, but the poor kid thinks he's building an Xbox. <laughs> for a smoke break and got locked out of the studio. Cylinders are wonderful At your fingertips or not Cylinders are hot Wait, hot? I'm oh, sorry, I just wanted to make it rhyme and I panicked. Uh, Mr. Narrator, is this a cylinder too? Kid, I'm locked out. That's not a cylinder. Kid, help me. Da -da -da. I think I'm ready to move on to trapezoids. No, kid, you're not ready. Get out of there now. The narrator, please. Narrator and sketch. The locked out narrator sketch. Okay, kids, put down your algebra books. We're going to watch a kid cut a paper star in real time. <laughs> Next, kids, get a copy of the Victoria's Secret catalog and scratch out all the model's eyes with a razor. Make a paper liberty, liberty bell and try to crack it with your mind. This effigy of your math teacher will look so good you won't even want to burn it on his lawn. <laughs> yeah, paper's nice, but you want to glue real hair to the sky, you know, preferably your babysitters. <laughs> I can't believe you shoved us up that big guy's butt. Salt boxes and oatmeal boxes joined together 
Make a big totem pole. Then put it outside your cardboard casino. <laughs> Olympic snowboarder Sean White, everyone. Sean. Hi, Sean. Thanks for being in our show. Remember what we learned last time? Your hamster tube needs air holes. And while you make whatever the hell this is, try not to think about how much your friends are having playing outside. <laughs> With a flashlight, this becomes a planetarium. Does it? No. When you tilt the flashlight to shine on the top of a tube, the constellation is reflected on the wall. No. <laughs> I made you something. <laughs> okay, they're totally avoiding the main question on the table. Are cylinders grass? This is the beginning of an animal. It is started by making Call a back. pattern for the legs. Uh, yeah, cutting it out. This is exactly how God makes a horse, too. Uh, uh, I shouldn't have done this with a sheet of aluminum. <laughs> Always make sure a cylinder is nearby, kids, or else we lose our state funding. Just... Oh yeah, it is a horse, an unusually well-endowed horse. <laughs> wow. Cut more, blew everything, more glitter, kill a hobo! What's, what's that, Mr. Narrator? Uh, oatmeal containers! <laughs> Now abandon that project and concentrate on what you do best. Folding paper in half. Oh, baby, that's a crease. Oh, yeah. Now cut a paper doll of Catherine the Great and position her under the paper horse. At your fingertips, cylinders, right? Cylinders, right, yeah. That cylinders known for their rectangular shape and two-dimensionalness. Cylinders. Cylinders. Uh... Sometimes pens are cylindrical, so cylinders! cylinders. Yeah. yeah, there you go. Uh, cylinder. That's a cylinder! Instead of at your fingertips, they should call it kind of out of focus and in the background, cylinders. cylinders. Your wiener head horse is almost ready. You'll need five bottles of glue for this project, one for gluing and four for eating, so you don't notice that this is a complete waste of time. Meanwhile, your dad takes another swig of bourbon in his armchair, staring at the baseball glove you showed absolutely no interest in. Oh, yeah, sure. A uh, Franz Kafka Metamorphosis Cockroach playset. I had one of these. Neat! Nifty. Huh. Nifty thing. Let the others mock us, Petey. You and I are one. You and I are one. <laughs> After he'd hung his 300th oatmeal box ungulate, Petey's parents began to worry. Automotive engineers hard at work on a new Saturn. <laughs> Cylinders also make racing cars, which can be colored in many ways. Except this way. <laughs> this is the single wrong way to color a racing car. Ignore basic safety features, then have fun sending your pipe cleaner passengers to their doom. Yeah, I brought one of these cars to the Pinewood Derby once. Yeah, I was the first kid ever dishonorably discharged from the Cub Scouts. Yeah. First step in this project is needing to do a whole lot of wiping. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Thank you for that. Thank, thank you very much. Yeah, be sure to plunge the scissors into the fleshy part of your thumb. When you experiment with cylinders, you will discover many ways of combining them. You can combine two cylinders to make one long, um... Cylinder! Make tentacles for your hentai-loving friends. What new things can you find to make with cylinders? 
Yes, cylinders make all sorts of insane abominations against God. Bite my shiny cardboard ass. <laughs> oh God, what are you doing? What are you doing to me? No, no! <laughs> we fun. No, robots don't even fly. You've got a real cat. I just saw it. Oh, oh God, tell me please, whatever you're thinking. Don't. Why did you create me with a fear of heights? <laughs> Be with us next time for At Your Fingertips Garbage, where you'll learn how to make a charming Mother's Day corsage out of a used coffee filter and old chicken bones. At your fingertips. At your fingertips. Thank you very much. Thank you. Friends, friends across the USA, I hope you are comforted knowing that you have at any time cylinders at your fingertips. Mm -hmm. Life is good. No, no. Life was good, but uh -oh. gentlemen, we can avoid it no longer. It's, it's coming at us. It's Manos time. Manos. Manos? The hands of fate. Oh, no, 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 I'm sorry. Not that Manos. It's oh. a Manos from Pixar. It's a delight. Of course it's Manos, the hands of fate. <laughs> yes, this is the one produced by Texas fertilizer salesman Hal Warren. Yes, he's very, very adept at producing fertilizer. <laughs> Hal Warren not only produced, he directed, he stars as the dad in the picture. Uh, you'll see him, he's sort of a confused looking guy in a white cardigan, so yep. look for him. And the movie was completely redubbed after they filmed it. Take special uh, note of the little girl in the movie, uh, whose voice was redubbed by a middle-aged woman later on. We, we think it was probably Betty White. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's just about time to climb down into the coal mines and start riffing. Okay. Well, it's what we signed on for, yeah. it's what you all yeah. came to uh, see. All right. Why the hell did you do that, by the way? No, what, 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 what's your deal, America? Yes. Well, then, it's time. Let's roll, Manos, the hands of fate. The hands of fate. Hands. Here we go. Huh. Well, this looks very familiar. <laughs> oh, right, right. My vacation footage from when I went to hell. <laughs> Isn't that El Paso? Like I said, hell. Oh. Sorry, El Paso. Enjoy the creepy, low-budget lifestyle in your new 1965 Ford Fairlane. Turn signals optional. <laughs> Manual. Uh, why do we bring the kid to make out point? We're almost there, honey. Just a little while longer in your vacation, Star. I'm getting cold, Mother, and hungry. And I'm turning into a middle-aged woman trying to do a kid's voice. <laughs> great, great shot. Well framed. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent cinematography. We should be pretty close right now. The agent said it was about 12 miles from Highway 10, and that was Highway 10 back there. But you know, we should have asked for better directions at the last gas station. Listen, I've never gotten this lost before. Please take that doily off your head. Hi, I'm cold. Okay, Debbie, I'll put the top up. Never mind, Mike. Debbie can come up and sit between us. After all, she is channeling the voice of my dead grandma. <laughs> so, so, She'll so be right at home. So invite her up for that reason, right? <laughs> now that's better, baby. Why don't we sing a song to help pass the time? Well, the audience enjoys the back of my head. <laughs> row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is down the stream. Wait a minute, I, I thought you said pass merrily, the time, merrily, not destroy merrily, all hope in the universe. Merrily, 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 life is down the stream. Merrily, 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 well, merrily. Fourteen days later. <laughs> row, row, row your row, boat. Row, 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 row your, your boat gently oh, down the street. Kill me. I don't want to sing anymore. Ah, yes. Manos, the most famous quote by the guy named The Hands of Fate. <laughs> <laughs> wow, arresting the movie this soon? I suppose it's for the best. Thank you, officer. 
Sir, I uh, notice your daughter's wearing one of them seat belts. Don't you know those things are dangerous? All right, mister. I see you have a taillight problem. No excuse. Running late, first vacation, kid getting tired. That's too bad. So can't you give us a break, officer? Wait, first vacation? You're like 50 years old. What, were well, you a slave right. in a diamond right. mine or something? <laughs> sure do appreciate it. We are running kind of late. Okay, but if you're running late, you should have started earlier. Anyhow, no tail light. Have it fixed. Thank you, officer. And this is Texas, so crack open a beer, will ya? Yes, officer. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come take a ride through the barren fields of Texas Run down redneck shafts The scrubby trees Will make you want to flee But stay for a while In but ugly Texas Look inside this magic circle <laughs> Dion Warwick is drunk again. This is I have within. It's real and not lie. Did she climb in the trunk before she said that line? Interesting chance. Brought to you by the Texas well, Tourist Council. Texas, at least we're better than Idaho. <laughs> Ears are bleeding. <laughs> Texas, it's not very good, but there sure is a lot of it. <laughs> well, a typical job interview in Texas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, it tastes like you're coming down with something there. Here, have some Vicks Formula 44. Mmm, it can really taste the codeine. Well, I should probably get back to my job as governor. <laughs> but first, yeah, there we go. <laughs> There's nothing up that road. Well, why the hell is there a road there? Oh, never mind. Just mash your face against her as a governor. <laughs> yes, for his first vacation, he chose the resort near the nuclear waste dump. <laughs> well, if the sky's clear, it gives him a good view of the world's second largest garbage fire. Mm. Quite a tourist Beautiful. attraction. Yeah. It's lovely. Hmm? <laughs> now look, the sign pointed this way. Mike, let's go back to the crossroads and ask those kids we saw. Okay, okay, but I know we can't be wrong. Look, the sign pointed this way. Mike, we're actively falling off a cliff now. Seconds till impact. We can't be because the sign pointed this way. <laughs> Now he took a wrong turn and ended up in the killing fields of Cambodia. Yeah. Oh. It's gonna happen. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> okay, now I'm in northern England. Uh, oh, damn it. How'd we end up on the Serengeti? <laughs> That's lost. Oh, no, wait, oh. No, no. It's been 57 hours. Are we ever going to move on to second base? Okay, how about you two? My deputy and I are scheduled to make out in this car at 10.30. How many times do we have to chase you kids? Oh, she. Holy cow, man. You think we're doing something wrong? <laughs> well, whatever it is you're not doing, go don't do it somewhere else. You're not laughing. I worked hard on that line. Why don't you guys leave us alone? <laughs> Come on, 
No way. Go on home. Okay. Get going. Get going. All right already. And don't go straight because there's nothing up that road. So it, wait, what are you doing? You're the one who said there's nothing up that road. Okay, if it seems like he's bad at this, remember this is his first vacation. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Poor kid. Oh, the cameraman's pinned under a pile of brush. Poor guy. Yeah. Oh, Uh-oh. stop. The cameraman's don't. under there. Don't, stop. Don't, 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 stop. Don't. Stop. Whew. Oh, God. I could have sworn we didn't make a wrong turn. You must have. Where did the road go? No need to get upset. We'll find didn't it. Didn't we have a kid, by the way? <laughs> Maybe. Ah, uh, yeah, you know, when I think of the ruined wastelands of Texas, I think boozy saxophone music. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> uh, could have sworn our vacation home was right next to that huge pile of discarded refrigerators near the hog rendering plant. Where did this place come from? It wasn't here a few minutes ago. I don't care. Let's see if we can get some directions. Look, there's someone at the door. He looks great. I trust him implicitly. (laughs) Okay, hang on, honey. I'm going to try to turn this boat. I might need an acre or two. You should know right off the bat that I made a boom boom in my pants. <laughs> Still making it, actually. Uh, yeah. Yeah, drink me in, folks. Cost you nothing to look. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Baby. Well, hang on, honey. I'm going to see if this guy has any hot tips on the stock market. He <laughs> looks the type. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait a minute. You're getting out? You're not firing warning shots or driving away very, very quickly while screaming in terror? <laughs> no, that dumpster burrito I ate is flighting back on me. Oh, oh God. I am Torgo. I take care of the place while the master is away. Well, hello, Torgo. <laughs> mm. But the child, I'm not sure the master would approve. Or the dog. The master doesn't like children. We only want to know where Valley Lodge is. Which way do we go? There's no place like that around here. But you're welcome to stay here. I just put a fresh batch of squirrels in the oven. (laughs) Mike, I'm scared. What if Torgo doesn't like us? dog. Well, Targo, which way is out of here? Targo has a detailed map for you. Unfortunately, it's in his pants. There is no way out of here. It will be dark soon. There is no way out of here. No way out? She believes him. (laughs) Well, you know, we we could spend the night here, and then tomorrow we can... Oh, my... I don't want to spend the night here. I don't like the looks of the place. Well, it seems we have no alternative. Well, how about it, Torgo? Can we spend the night here? Well, I could ask the royal family to leave. (laughs) Well, I don't know what else we could do. But, Mike, I don't want to stay here. And the master wouldn't approve. Don't worry about it. We're here now, and I'm sure the master won't throw us out. Not only accept that there is a master, but even seems to know about the guy's mood. Let's leave. I don't know about it. I just don't know. I really don't like to associate with people who shower. <laughs> she just remembers she slept with Torgo after a frat party in college. Ooh. Awkward. Huh? Huh? Hmm. I don't know. Huh? Phew. A lot of underwear on the floor back in there. And I don't even wear underwear. <laughs> oh, God, what's he reaching for? Well, Torgo, in or out? Patient, dear. Okay, you can stay. Unless, of course, this is your first vacation. Damn it! Very well. 
The master will be very disturbed. Well, this is a creepy and potentially very dangerous situation. Wife, young daughter, you go first. I will get the, the luggage. Yes, between the two of them, Torgo seems like the best candidate to bring in the luggage. <laughs> Definitely. Well, we'll stay tonight and then tomorrow. You must be. You cannot stay. The master would not uh, approve. I can't uh, stay. Why the hell are you bringing in my luggage? <laughs> you know, it's tough to be smooth when you have a full grown raccoon in each pant leg. <laughs> oh, how will they ever top their first vacation? <laughs> No, those are not the hands of fate. Those are the hands Torgo bought at a knick-knack shop in Sedona. <laughs> God, the same crap we've been looking at for a whole minute! <laughs> See, you're feeling better already. Torgo's stained couch works its magic again. <laughs> Look at this. Hi again. Hope you're having fun. Don't mind me. I just need to go into your guest bathroom and pick my hairs off all the little soaps. Oh, that Torgo. I hate to see him go, but I love to watch him leave. Ha ha, wee, this couch is giving us both mange. Ha ha ha. Uh, line? Line? Please, anyone, line. Hey, soundtrack, welcome back. Hey, How the hell hey, you been hey. Hanging out with Norman. <laughs> Must be the master himself. He looks like a straight shooter, and you know the fellas and I do need a fourth for golf. He has the meanest look. That dog. I'd hate to run up on him in the dark or even in the light, for that matter. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Our host looks to be a terrifying psycho. Ooh, I hope they have those little cantaloupe chunks at the Continental Breakfast. I love those. <laughs> hey, hey where, where's the theme music? Has the Torgo magic really worn off already? Go, oh, damn it, Torgo. We were almost done looking at the painting. Now we have to start all over again. <laughs> Listen, kid, I got a bad feeling we're going to wind up sewn together here. <laughs> that must be your master. What did you say he was? He has left this world. But he is with us always. No matter where we go, he is with us. Oh, so he's like the opposite of AT&T. Right. Yes. <laughs> no matter where he goes. What does that mean? That dog. Vicious looking animal I've ever seen. Sorry, is this the painting's internal okay, model? Okay, I think so. There is nothing to fear, madam. The master likes you. Nothing will happen to you. He likes you. Likes me? I thought you said he was dead. So, your husband's a corpse and he likes you. <laughs> Targo no, Man. Not dead the way you know it. He is with us always. Not dead the way you know it. He is with us always. Now Torgo's gonna get the papers, get the papers. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to worry about, it's only your imagination. Yeah, like that time you imagined we shouldn't let Debbie eat lead paint. <laughs> so, have you guys seen The Wire? <laughs> I think that it's best that I show you to the bedroom. Now. Top bunk is mine. Bottom bunk is just a puddle of my drippings. <laughs> my God. Drippings. My, what was that? Probably some animal in the desert. There's nothing to be afraid of. Scared, Mike. Passing out. Probably the best option in this, on that couch. Michael, I don't care what it is. Chase it away. Okay, if it'll make you relax, I'll go out and see what it is. Better not be that darn Dennis the Menace in the hydrangeas again. Relax, dear. It's just a cow with diarrhea. <laughs> it's pretty scary. <laughs> Mothra, no! What happened? 
I heard it. Stay here. Get back into the house. Can't be too careful. Sounds like a piano is having a fight with an Atari game out there. Oh, little Debbie replaced the bullets with sweet tarts again. I gotta let her stop playing with this thing. Oh, so racist. As usual, the black character dies first. Get back in the house, damn it. Oh, it's cute when couples have pet My names God, for each other. What happened? He's dead. Happy's been killed. Get back in the house, honey. My, what kind of place is this? My God, what kind of place is this? I'll take care of everything, honey. Get back in the house. I'll take care of everything, sweetie. I'll bring the dog back to life and make Torgo not be Torgo anymore. Everything. Pepe's new name, two bucks a pound in Koreatown. Oh! Norman told me that. Norman. <laughs> Well, I passed out. I gotta slow down to the vodka Kool-Aids. No, no, you know what? You know what? I'm on vacation. I will do what I want. No. No. Mike. Oh, Mike, what could have done it? Uh, so bright, so loud. Oh. oh. Honey, it was probably some animal from the desert. This place must be full of them. You guys want to do Jaeger bombs? <laughs> Party. Peppy. You went away, baby. I went away while you were asleep. No, it's coming up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, kid, she's hardcore, you. that kid. No. Okay, honey, we'll leave right away. Where the hell is that caretaker? Targo! Finish your homework! You know you're not allowed to be on the computer with the door shut, young man. <laughs> you make me feel like dancing. Oh, oh hi. I didn't, I, I, I didn't see you there. <laughs> Did you want me? We're leaving. Would you mind putting the luggage back in the car? As you wish. Right now. Fast, damn it. Fast. Yep, when you want a job done fast, Torgo's your guy. <laughs> Assuming the job is getting banned for life from the public library. Right. <laughs> Naturally. <laughs> ah, car trouble. Great, this will be embarrassing when Torgo gets there with the bags in two or three hours. See, poke around, look pissed off, wear a cardigan. There, I fulfilled my responsibilities as a 60s dad. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't recommend running a black light over that comforter. <laughs> tr tr trust me on this one. <laughs> Thrill as Torgo pressures a guest for a tip using passive aggression. <laughs> I'll be glad to leave. I've had all of this place I want. Madam, it will be very dangerous to leave now. The master wants you. Yeah? He's got money? What? What kind of talk is that? He wants you for his wife. He loves beautiful women. Personally, I think you're a C plus at best, but <laughs> whatevs. Well, this is super creepy, but I'll just stand right here and see where he's going with this. Uh, you, you got a little eyebrow in your eyebrow there. <laughs> Doctors now prescribe this scene for people who want to lose sex, interest in sex forever. <laughs> I'd stop him, but his hand grease is volumizing. <laughs> Sorry, babe, you're sweet and all, but this is getting too heavy. Torgo's got to be free. Don't you ever try that again, you beast. Master wants you, but he can't have you. I want you. Oh, well, in that case, okay. He wants you, but he can't have you. Oh, a lot of Cheeto dust just fell out of that beard. Ah, so hard to concentrate when my dumb wife's anguished cries for help distracting me. Damn it. You know, it's probably just out of gas. Cars back then averaged like negative three miles a gallon. Well, at least the damn dog's dead. Uh, well, well, Mike, Mike. Come 
on, Targo's about as threatening as a bowl of cold oatmeal. <laughs> Let me out of here. Let me out of here now. Do you hear now? Word for word, my Yelp review of Arby's. <laughs> little moonwalk for you there? Yeah. Kitty. Just wait till I tell my husband. Just wait until I tell my husband. I meant no harm, madam. I'll protect you. I will protect you. Where's my hand? Where's my hand? <laughs> oh, there. Don't tell my husband. God. Now let me out. <laughs> and Maggie, the damn car won't start. And I think our daughter got into the Valium. Margaret? <laughs> damn car won't start. Well, that really fixes things. Near sexual assault makes know. her just slightly annoyed. Just... Hey, Torgo, where's the phone? <laughs> yes, Alexander Graham Bell, you know, telephone. You know, Nikola Tesla, Orville Wright, guy who invented there the Furby. Not, sir, the master doesn't approve of such devices. Oh, the master's one of those righteous guys who they doesn't even own a TV, man. <laughs> the nearest phone is at the crossroads. That's 10 miles. 10 miles? Might as well be 10,000 miles. You know, I tried that argument with my Delta Sky Miles rep. It's like, <laughs> got nowhere. The master won't mind you staying tonight. We have no choice. We can't leave. We can't walk out of here. The damn car won't start. Hmm. I'll just bring the bags back to the room. Manos, the moving luggage from one place to another of fate. <laughs> Sinister. Sinister isn't descriptive enough. But the screenwriter couldn't find a thesaurus, so sinister it is. Forgotten. I'll never forget. Peppy's gone. I just hope Debbie will understand. She'll understand. She's my baby. She'll understand. Understand this. I'm going to go grab a smoke. She's my baby. She'll understand. As previously stated. Say, where is she? <laughs> These two might need to oh turn in their God. world's best my parents' God. mugs. Don't get brought up. She's probably playing hide and seek. Okay, Debbie, we see you. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Maybe she slipped into one of the rooms. Debbie? She misses Debbie, Debbie? but not enough to Debbie? open the door all the way. Debbie! Torgo, have you seen Debbie? I thought no. you were Debbie. I... God, help us find her. She couldn't have gone outside. The door is bolted. For God's sake, don't panic. She's got to be in here. You're embarrassing me in front of Torgo. Is there another exit to the outside? <laughs> in the yeah. kitchen. That always makes Torgo laugh. An exit in the kitchen. So nutty. <laughs> that is <laughs> wild. <laughs> that door is bolted, too. Outside, Mike. She's got to be outside. Mike. All right, we'll look outside for her. If we have to. Debbie? Dad here's not exactly Debbie? Liam Neeson in Taken, <laughs> is he? Debbie? I don't have any skills. Oh, I got scared. The animal is no. dead. Cut it out. <laughs> Just take a moment so the camera can get a good look at my crotch. There, there it is. We'll find her. Don't worry. As long as she wanders up to this specific spot that we're apparently not moving from. Debbie? Uh, that is her name, right, honey? De Debbie? Hmm. This newfound kitchen exit sure looks a lot like the one they use every other time. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Sounded like Sherry Lewis and Lamb Chop. Shoot to kill. Stand back, Debbie. Stand back. Any other straight Doberman would be fine, but this one might have been in a painting we saw. <laughs> Darling, baby, you could have been hurt. Yes, honey, red rum, whatever you say, dear. <laughs> but you should never run away from it. Debbie, don't ever run away from us. Don't run away from us, no matter how useless and neglectful we are. In a big place? In a big place? Where, Debbie? 
Hope it wasn't a mall pet so store. They use puppy mills, you know. Dark. It was so dark, but I wasn't afraid of the dark. I had all kinds of funny people in it. Where is the place, Debbie? You're gonna, you're gonna use that creepy voice from now on. I think I want to endanger you a little more. <laughs> Wow, the Unitarian Church has gone a bit weird. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Some went wrong there. Mike, it's horrible. Let's get out of here. Let's go. Hey, campers, always douse your hellfire before you leave a room. Get in the bedroom and lock yourself in. I'm going to find Torgo. He's got some explaining to do. Hurry, please, hurry. Oh, and keep Debbie away from Torgo's litter box. <laughs> well, better get back to directing. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm late for the staff meeting. Did you decide when we're having our bake sale? Or... I want the... She's mine, mine, mine. Do you hear? I want this one. You have all the wives you need. Go! Joe Perry of Aerosmith! Yeah. <laughs> okay, honey, scooch over. <laughs> oh. 80s wife, 50s wife, how you doing? Let me see how good you are. I won't need you anymore. I have my own wife. I won't have to come in here to dream of having one of you. I don't care for this reimagining of Sleeping Beauty. It's <laughs> working for me. It's a tad you creepy. first wife. He doesn't want you anymore. Now even I don't want you. Okay. Uh, I guess that wraps it up. Uh, see you guys at lunch. Yeah. Yeah. I uh, brought my pet moths with me. <laughs> Gir girls like moths, right? He needs groping lessons. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I dozed off. Your pelvis is just so comfortable. <laughs> oh. This could very well be a young Nick Nolte here. <laughs> Yeah, I, I take care of the joint while the master's away. He don't let any booze in the house, so I end up drinking his aftershave. Ow. Whoa, Charlie Horse. Oh, I gotta cut back on the Pilates. Yeah. Whoa. Meanwhile, in the middle of the desert, Dad, oh, and we're back to Mom. <laughs> Fast-paced action scenes here. The sexy, sultry, kerchief-removing theme. Oh, yeah. The bed bugs are literally leaping onto her from across the room and in an effort to escape Torgo. <laughs> The only good reason to undress at this point would be to change into a hazmat suit. <laughs> Just gathering windowsill flies for Madam's breakfast. <laughs> yeah, it's a good thing she's wearing her spare dress in case her regular dress has a blowout. <laughs> Hachi wawa. <laughs> Fap, 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 fap. Okay, that's said too much. I'm sorry. Oh, oh my. I'm sorry. <laughs> Bill. <laughs> oh, my. Dad did not see that one coming, and the referee is nowhere in sight. Film through a used oil filter. Uh, hey, come on, poor Torgo. You know, I take the ability to kneel for granted. I don't know about you. That's a way of looking at it. The scene is meant to represent what the audience feels like while watching Manos, the hands of fate. <laughs> You know your life has hit a low point when you're given a wedgie by Torgo. Like pretty much the, the bottom there. 
Good lord, you're a fat load. What, do you eat cake batter for a living? It's the only way Torgo can get people to watch his poetry recital. Well, Torgo's got to hurry. He's Skyping with his parents in five minutes. They just got back from a cruise. They're really nice people. Very slender knees. Okay, Torgo can now add a hernia and a prolapsed navel to the list of his deformities. Got confused and started licking the back of the guy's neck. <laughs> Happens to all of us. Yeah. <laughs> there. Job well done, I think. Time to celebrate with a tall glass of my own saliva. Sorry. This fall, Torgo and Elaine Bennis team up on Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> Ah, The Moon, so far the movie's best performance. It's a terrible campfire song. La 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 la. See? Oh, oh man. I had my sleep number set way too high. Oh. The very definition of horror Jeff Foxworthy in a moo moo. Slave ladies. Mondays, huh? <laughs> Thomas Kincaid really blew that one, yeah. man. I just... Edward Cullen and Bella Swan's white trash face. <laughs> Eddie, when the hell are you gonna change me into one of them vampires? I told you I'd do it after I fix the truck, baby. Now get off my damn back. I'm gonna tell them Voltori on you. I mean, I'd at least use my vampire powers to get that broken washing machine off of our lawn. Why don't you get some damn werewolf to do that oh. for you? Oh yeah, I will go there if you don't shut up and get that back to drinking. That is not cool. I love you, you crazy mortal bitch. I love bitch. you too, man. <laughs> The White Trash Twilight skit, ladies and gentlemen. Get, get, get back to that movie now. Now watch him try to trade lips. <laughs> back to another bad movie. <laughs> Got that Cialis you needed, Frank. Ah. Thank God. Again, how many times do you have to be told? Wow. Can't a couple not bone Hello, in peace? Mark, will you? Go chase that other couple. What other couple? Oh, guess I swallowed your gum. Oh. Those idiots that went deeper in the desert. Find them and chew on them a while. We know that this road goes nowhere, so now get it. No smart stuff. We ain't trying to jump on you. That's what my deputy's Just for, jumping on. He, he, he jumps on me. It really hurts. Okay, I'm, I'm coming around there to you, but no jumping on me, okay? See? <laughs> Don't jump. No jumping. Okay, we're cool. See, was it that hard not to jump on me? I just... For once. Uh... Well, maybe make myself a blueberry smoothie and then get to worshiping the devil. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Ancient sacrificial altar stone and convenient place to hook the pooch while you nip out for a muffin. Well, hey! Doesn't seem to be too into mastering this morning, does he? Yeah, he's missing his usual robust satan glow. Yeah. O Vanos, thou of primal darkness, Thou who dwelleth in the depth of the universe in the black chasms of night. You're our next contestant on The Price is Right! <laughs> yeah, a lot of face. 250 square feet of master face. <laughs> so I guess you could say this guy's a master of the house. Quick to catch your eye. Never no, 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 no. Don't do that. Cut, cut it off, man. Who's up for spores? Thou who bestoweth the mother darkness upon thy faithful. 
and live eternally in her keeping. Thou dost make him most blessed forever. Tor goes off screen with his and cue cards. And thou dost curse with eternal burning light those who transgress against thee. Holy art thou, holy art thou, holy art thou. Holy statue of John Malkovich. <laughs> thy priesthood remains steadfast, thy priesthood remains constant, thy priesthood remains righteous. Thy priesthood remains performing thou community theater. O Manos, and we have listened. Give ear to our words, O Manos, and hear us. Hear us. Though our voices hear be us. badly dubbed. For we are faithful, and thou art our God. Arise, my wife. And try to stay in focus, would you? <laughs> Arise, my wives, and hear the will of Manosh. Manosh? What is the will of Manosh? <laughs> Oh, on a rise, on a rise, damn it. Ah, oh. uh, screw this, I'm heading to Chili's with Torgo. Uh, you know, this is my vision of hell, only it would be with the women from The View. <laughs> wow. And a female child is back. Well, Dad pulled me aside before the wedding and said, Son, you sure you want to marry these six broads? I said, Yep. Idiot. <laughs> I've never complained about sacrificing a man, but a child? That the depends on the child, <clears throat> kid from Jerry Maguire. The others must die. Is that a thing for him, haven't they you? They all must die. We do not even want the woman. The child is a female. She must not be destroyed. She will grow up to be a woman. This is the weirdest so tampon commercial I have ever life. seen. Thank you. Hear, hear. Child must die. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I shouldn't have agreed to that. <laughs> In this foolishness, your usefulness will have come to an end. Say what you will. I will have no part of this madness. Oh, come on, ladies, this is supposed to be my man cave. never allow them in, and I want You have caused enough trouble. I think perhaps your service to us is at its end now. Turn in your inexplicable negligee and get out. And now, my wives, I shall deal with the one who is responsible for the child being here. The director, Hal Warren. He's the one. Get Torgo. You are responsible for this nonsense. We shall dispose of you later. I mean, imagine blaming sweet little Torgo. <laughs> it's a terrible mistake. The man, yes. The child, no. Friend, good. Fire, Maybe bad. Maybe we should spare the child. <laughs> it is against our will that we stay here. Do not make the child die to satisfy him. He does not need any more wives. Yes. I, I, I think no the burgers you're grilling are a touch well done. Yes. Just <laughs> flip them. Or... Jealousy is not part of us. Why are you so jealous of me? It's the pants Torgo bought me that's a juicy you on the butt, totally isn't it? You deserve to die. Gently pat you to death. Die. I may die, but I do not care. The child must live. She is right. We will not kill the child. But Manos would not approve. Yeah, see? <laughs> Wouldn't approve. Oh, Manos exists for us only. <laughs> Manos loves women. She will grow up to be a woman. She must die. Um, line. <laughs> oh, is this some of that improv everywhere bullshit? <laughs> the master here can't this take it if it is. Furious. Boy, Sex in the City 3 goes in a whole new direction. You're all yeah. mad. Mad the whole lot of you. Much better than two. Mad, yes. The child, no. There we go. Oh, ladies, ladies, ladies. There's no need to fight. In those frumpy dresses, anyway. Change into slave Leia costumes or something. Huh? This is what happens at a book club if you say you didn't like Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> Well, they finally did it. They made sexiness unsexy. It happened. I've seen actual cats fighting that were more erotic than this cat fight. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Uh, okay, I'm better now. 
So, uh, Mike, let's get back to those fighting cats you yeah. found erotic. That was Why a joke. That was a joke. Oh. Hey, look, put Torgo in a sheer 90 and he'd sort this out in no time. Yeah. Kevin, that's your solution to everything. Yes, right? it is. So this is pretty much how the website Pinterest works, right? <laughs> Boy, the Benny Hill show was creepy before they hired Benny Hill. Oh, God, I hope that's not the master's Torgo real doll. Oh. Perfectly innocent. Torgo sleeps on a pile of dirt. Look at that. I mean, I hope it's a pile of dirt. Oh, to God, it's a pile of dirt. Hey, Torgo, have you seen my rope? I think, oh, well, hey, never mind. There it is. Wake up. We've got a youth group meeting to lead. That, that's fine, movie. We'll wait. Yeah, just, I'm fine. Torgo, the dog just complained that you're sleeping on his dirt pile. <laughs> yep, this is pretty much me every New Year's Day. Uh, yeah, every day. This is thrilling. Really, Mike? Oh, no, I mean, there's a patch of paint on the wall right over there that's wow, drying. Look at it go. Cool. Thrilling, yeah. Yeah. Oh, don't get up, Torgo. <laughs> what are you doing here? You have failed us, Torgo. I know of your visit to the tomb. That's what Torgo calls hitting the can after Golden Corral. My <laughs> visit? The women have told me. They may not be able to say anything or move when you're there. But they remember everything you say to them and everything you do to them. Oh, come on, Master. That could have been anybody's boner. <laughs> it's Targo. Six wives. Why can't I have one for myself? Not that the sex with my hat <laughs> isn't great. <laughs> I just... Therefore, you cannot have one of them. But I have one now. This one is mine. You will never get her. You have failed us, Torgo. For this, you must die. Well, I've had a good run. Live life to its fullest. No. Every you day a joy. You'll never kill them. I'll help them. We're failed. And you must die. Maybe you're the one that must die, you know? What was that? Nothing. And now, here comes the most romantic kiss in cinema history. Do I have ranch dressing in my mustache? <laughs> Where's your theme music now, Torgo? <laughs> well, young Tom Selleck saw that look and said, hey, me too. <laughs> this is what I do when I'm introduced to people at parties. It's a, it's a, it's a real icebreaker. It's like, Damn it, okay, I forgot what I came in here for. Get my keys, grab a jacket, no. It's remembering the time he caught Torgo singing Ace of Bass in the shower. Manos, god of primal darkness. Designer of my wonderful handy gown. So have I done. The hands of fate have doomed this man. Thy will is done. If deities were candies, Manos would be like banana runts. Yeah. Dum 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 dum. Well, hey, look, the master's white man trap caught another one. Looks like a really depressing version of the end of Raiders of the Lost Ark. Don't look at it, Marion. It sucks too much. <laughs> He seems like the kind of guy that would keep an emergency packet of mayonnaise in his wallet at all times. <laughs> just, just in case. Now, uh, I want you to keep in mind here that that guy is the writer and the director of this film, so he directed himself to be licked. 
The script literally said, lick me. <laughs> this happened to me when I fell asleep on a Greyhound bus. <laughs> My guy's nightgown was much more revealing, though. Sure, so. sure. Yeah. We'll say he might have to get his dog killed more often. This kind of thing. Yeah. He woke up 30 seconds ago. He's just enjoying this now. <laughs> Hey, honey, this is Texas. It's not going to work unless you get him into a convertible with a bottle of Jim Beam. This is still, by far, the most he's ever satisfied somebody sexually. <laughs> oh, good. More of this. Yeah. yeah. This would happen pretty much every day on the set of The Golden Girls. <laughs> yeah. Ten bucks on wife number four. <laughs> Soundtrack by Kenny G on trucker speed. <laughs> this type of thing wouldn't happen if Torga would just lay off the axe body spray. You know, little fair started small. <laughs> Guys, I, I miss the Olympics. Is this rhythmic gymnastics? No. Close, close enough. Right. <laughs> Trying to pretend they didn't discover a crusty sock under Torgo's pillow. No, Damn it, Torgo. Kevin. <laughs> it's Torgo. Michael. Michael, where are you? I think the Donner Party had more successful first vacations than this family. <laughs> Back off, TMZ. <laughs> Boob check. I mean, bed check. Bed, bed check. <laughs> hey, Bill. Yes? If you were going to set a trap for this guy, what would you use to lure him into that trap? Did that guy? Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess you should have to use master <laughs> Okay, yeah. that's just enough of that. I can't blame that on Grow, Tara, grow up, you know. And stay Mother down. There you are. She is the one. She has upset all of our plans. This foolishness must stop. If you're going to wrestle, do it in the jello pit. <laughs> yeah, take away eight of those fingers, and that'd sum up my feelings right about now. <laughs> two, two thumbs up. Would well, like you please? <laughs> the master would. <laughs> The master, can we do something about the smoke? <laughs> There's been enough trouble. Our purpose must be served. There will be no further insolence. There's also a stick in my eye, ow. <laughs> but the child. We cannot kill a child. Yes, we can. Let's fight about it for another hour. Yeah. Oh. You have caused enough trouble. As soon as we have disposed of Torgo, we shall take care of you. Your power fails you. I have no more fear. Seize her and prepare her for sacrifice. Oh, wait, now she goes without a struggle? <laughs> Still doing this, yep. <laughs> you know, when you're ordering two of your wives to tie up and sacrifice another of your wives, it might be time to reevaluate your life choices. Yeah. <laughs> do, do a little well done, inventory. The will of Manos shall be served. Right after some pizza rolls and tiny meatballs. <laughs> um, boss, would this be a bad time to mention that my PTL hasn't been accruing properly? <laughs> All the splendor of a hobo napping on a park bench finally comes to the big screen. <laughs> Mel Gibson's The Passion of the Torgo. the will of Manos, that he be sacrificed. But first some interpretive dance. Manos is way into that, too. Uh, master, should I raise my arms, too? I, I don't know what... I, I'm just gonna do what you're doing. Kill. 
Kill. Mondo can decree it. Kill. 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 Wait, that's too much killing. Dial it back a bit. Okay, now touch more. No, no, split the difference. That's perfect. Wow, with the rubbing and the face and the owl lady. Layla. They, I'm not touching you to him to death. Mark, help us. Oh my God. Just realized the thing Tor Girl left on her pillow wasn't a mint. <laughs> well, my ear's a little wet, but all in all, I feel great. <laughs> I'll save my family soon, but first I want to shoot me an armadillo. Work him a bit more around the groin, honey. There we go. Well done. This is still better than being married to Norman. (laughs) (sighs) Folks, this could be worse. They could be holding Torgo down to change his diaper. I blame your obsession with the wiggles, sweetie. (laughs) Margaret, open the door. Don't worry, I'm panicky and have a loaded gun. (laughs) Margaret, open the door. Here's, 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 here's Johnny. Enough. Ceremony is done. Let's see. There you go. Now they just found out he doesn't have health insurance. Yeah. In high school, Torgo was voted most likely to get stabbed on a freight train. <laughs> What's strange is that this is just Torgo's first day on the job. Wow. This has been a rough one. A lot happened. Okay, like... 80% of the third act is just Torgo standing up. <laughs> Come on! I think Manos ever hangs out with Xenu at a bar for crappy deities. I think. <laughs> Whoa, and Torgo sticks the landing. Yeah! And now the master's gonna need Purell, the hand sanitizer of fate. Ta-da! Out flies a dove! Oh, whoops, sorry, Torgo. (laughs) And that is how a McRib is made. (laughs) He sounds like somebody watching the opposite of Jack and Jill. Killing doesn't help anymore. You're all finished. Just for that, you don't get a bite. <laughs> You've said enough. Your turn will come as soon as we have disposed of the others. Go find the others. Hurry, before the night slips away. Ow, ow, burning my own hand now. Stupid, totally predictable. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you had to be there. I don't know. We were there. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> the window. I saw him at that window. Okay, honey, we'll leave. We'll leave. I just want to try their fitness leave. center no, first. I can't stand it any longer. Please, Mike. We'll hide in the desert. Someone will help. And I've always loathed your mustache. There, I've said it. Your power fails. You cannot endure. So you're saying he's not master of his domain? (laughs) Oh, Jerry. The gods destroy me. (laughs) Hey, John Stossel, give her a break. Destroy me. I am permanent. Like grape juice stain on her throw rug, permanent. Your power fails you. She's talking to the makeup department, I assume, (laughs) there, right? Torgo defied you. Ooh, burn! Literally. I'm sorry. <laughs> he was destroyed even as you shall be. Your power does not affect me anymore. Your body odor still does, though, even I gotta admit. Otherwise, do not trust you. 
<laughs> See, I do not fear you, even though you beat me. Beat me again. Beat! Beat! And by beat, I mean swing your arm weakly, miss by a country mile, smear strawberry jam on my face, then take away my toilet paper ration, or whatever the hell that was. I do not fear you. That's the first thing I always say to a Starbucks barista. I do not fear you. So slapping is the best he's got, right? Yeah. Cousin Voldemort won't be impressed. I no, no. Oh, wait, crap. Did I, I... I did. I left my cupcakes in the oven too long. Basic ambulation is a big challenge for this family. I can't go on. Take Debbie and run. No, darling, we'll make it. Let's Pick go. you up with my gun hand here. Excellent scene there, bravo. Nothing up that way. Let, let, let's go this way. Hey, little Debbie, you hold the gun for a while. Just, just point it anywhere. It's fine. <laughs> and, and of, of course. Of course. Not, not a demon terrorizing this family. It's the curse of walking upright. <laughs> Damn, that was fun. I'm going to do it again. We... <laughs> Mike, Mike, are you all right? Bam. He's what a pair of dockers would look like in human form. <laughs> Mike, we can't go on this way. Two whole seconds without tripping. Yeah. You've got to keep going. Four seconds, yeah. five seconds. Not bad, guys. You're getting the hang of this walking thing. Visitors to the Master's Day Spa receive a massage, cucumber facial, and of hey, course, God. death by a light slap. What the hell? We have searched everywhere. Manos will, uh, hands of, uh, yeah, I got nothing. No, I, uh, <laughs> Find them. They must not escape. Find them. No, leave them alone. We cannot kill a child. Enough talk. Find them. Manos will be served. And then Manos would be like, I got served. <laughs> it's totally something Manos would say. I to see you. Wearing lead boots? What the hell? Is this set on Jupiter with its much stronger gravitational pull? I... I can't make it, Mike. I can't make it. Yeah, it sounds like you during Manos rehearsal, yeah, Kevin. Yeah, exactly. And take it, Mike. Later that second. Where the hell is the dog park? Ugh. Unnecessary close-up theater presents this person. <laughs> Thank you. It's like a giant is trying to cop a feel on him, doesn't it? <laughs> Master's neighbor is looking out his window at all this. Pack your bags, Reba. We're moving for real this time. <laughs> I miss Michael Vick. <laughs> we can make it. We knew that would get a boom. Let's hear from it. We can yeah. make it. Yeah. Let's go back. They'll never think of looking for us at the house. You know, you might have a point there. Please, she does? Please, I can't go any farther. Listen, we can lock ourselves in the kitchen. I have my gun. Hi, Satan here. This movie is not my doing. <laughs> Stock footage of a snake. Kill it. Kill it. <laughs> We'll have to go back. What, what was a snake there ride back okay. home? Or? It might be the safest place, especially since they're out here looking for us. Where's my puppy? Please, Debbie, not now. Later, or maybe never. Look, I have no idea what the hell you said. Law and order, heavy petting unit. <laughs> Officers, again, we have an armed robbery in progress at the liquor store. Many wounded, need backup. Seriously, hope you guys aren't still perving on horny teens. Over. <laughs> ching, ching. That sure sounded like shots. We'd better check. They stole their hats off tonight. Woody from There's Toy Story. Right out here. <laughs> the phone dog. Well, sound does travel a long way at night. It could be clear over in Mexico, for that matter. And we're back. <laughs> 
Well, we tried. (laughs) Well, now it's time to direct a Boeing 757 into its gate. Uh, Phil, I'm thinking of moving to Houston. That's so? Yep, go to the big city. Pester the kids make it out there. Follow your dreams, Ted. Yeah, thank you, sir. Um, actors to the set, please. <sighs> actors to the set, please. Actors to the... Thank you. Meanwhile, at the exact same door... <laughs> I don't even have hands. Why the hell am I part of this cult? I can't take it anymore. Seriously, someone call Sarah McLaughlin. So, am am I in this scene? I, I really, I don't even know where I am. Bullets don't hurt him. They just put him way out of focus. So it's just weird effect there. The hands of fate, the hands of fate. A convertible in Texas in the 60s? Uh, Just don't pass any book depositories. Uh, Thelma and Louise in happier days. Sure ain't good to get away. Damn the rain. Vacations are fine, but this one should be great. Yeah, the gang's coming up for the weekend. What a blast. Hmm. She's excited about the vacation, but lukewarm on the gang. (laughs) Uh, Look at the confident way they're putting the roof up there. You know what this means, guys? Not their first first vacation. The soundtrack to Manos, The Hands of Fate is now available on Edison Wax Cylinder. (laughs) (laughs) Movies in rearview mirror may be stupider than they appear. (laughs) Boy, if the rest of the gang are half as wild as these two, watch out El Paso. Oh, yeah. Okay, the next scene is going to be three straight minutes of the master reading the municipal tax code. (laughs) Of fate. (laughs) Thank you. Driving scenes make the earlier Torgo stands up scenes look like a Jet Li film. (laughs) Peppy just drags himself out onto the road and splat. (gasps) Dark. Oh, dear God, man. Tell her you don't have a penis and end this ruse. (laughs) My God, it looks like the Manson compound. Hey, they have free HBO. Welcome. Them. Her. Him. Those. Her. (laughs) Ah. Still better than toddlers and tiaras. I am Michael. I take care of the place while the master is away. Now carry your own damn bags. (laughs) That is Manos the Hands of Fate! Manos the Hands of Fate! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you so much! See you in October for Birdemic! Thank you very much, Nancy!
It's time for Real Tracks. Copyright by Riff Tracks. All rights reserved.